What's up guys, welcome back to another video, it's me, Jerry Salsa, and today we're going to be recording a video, wow! Uh, today we're going to go over the top 5 blasters that I have. Not the top 5 blasters, top 5 uh, rifles that I have, and I mean nerf, not like firearms, because people are like, Wait a minute, your kid's got a firearm, it's not fun. It's not a lounge. It's not a lounge. So, these are top five rifles that I own. Um, there will be like one honorable mention, so six. But it's five, because five is in, I don't know, but it's common, so I'm using it, whatever. Yeah, you deal with it. So, that is that, and yeah, I'm going to go from five to one. So, basically, the blaster that I'm going to be talking about is going to be the worst and then it'll go to five so the honorable mention actually is right now and these are loaded but not fully loaded because i cannot i mean the stratohawk has like a 25 round drum i'm not going to load that up and then like let's say the video comes out bad you know then that was just a waste of time and that gun jams crazy so honorable mentions there's only one honorable mention, and then the, the, the Stratohawk. I only chose this because of the way it is, not the way that it works, because it, it it operates like garbage, but... <clears throat> Comes with attachments. Now, you're probably thinking, well, why don't you just call on a rapid strike? It's just the same thing. Sure, it's the same thing, but this comes with attachments. There's a difference. So, it comes with a barrel, and if you don't want the barrel, I don't care. You can put it on another gun. I mean, it's just extra attachments that you have to your collection. Same with the scope. You don't need the scope. You'll never use the scope. Because, first of all, it's a rifle. You don't need a scope. Not only that, but there's already an iron sight built in the blaster. So, you really don't need the scope. But you have it. So, if you have a snipe rifle. For example, the Alpha Hawk that never came with anything. Throw it on there. It's not only a sniper, but... I mean, it's like a sniper wannabe. So, you can still throw something on there. That's it for attachments, unless there's something else that I missed, I don't know. Because I tend to take off random attachments. Like, my retaliator does not look like a retaliator. <laughs> yeah. So, um, I also chose it because it's got a 25-round drum that's really high capacity, and it's really, like, handy in a battle, you know. Like I just said, it's not fully loaded. But, and it has a stock thing. I'm trying to fit that in this thing. That's cool. Problem is, runs on 4C batteries, so there's a lot of weight in the front, so you can't just like dual wheel them because then your gun just kind of goes in. Eh. Stop revving and stop spitting out darts at the top. This is modified. Um, no internals are really modified, just like the blaster. Like I removed the jam door. Because it doesn't do anything. The blaster jams so much that I'm like. Why not remove the jam door? Because if I'm going to constantly open that door, why not leave it open, right? And funny, it revs without a jam door and without a mag. There's something wrong with this gun. I don't know. That's not normal. That's not. But for some reason, it runs without a mag. So if you really wanted to, you can just throw darts in there. Yeah. I don't recommend it, though, because if you're... Mag spin out darts. See, that's another thing. This drum spits out darts, and like in particular. So the, when the blaster doesn't run correctly and the, the drum doesn't cooperate, it, it, you can never use this gun. But I also like it's got rails everywhere. Rail here, 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 everywhere. It's got a rail everywhere. So it's a really like nice, and it looks like a rifle. Like when you show up with. You know, when you show up with this, people are like, what the heck are you holding in your hand? You know, but when you show up with this, people can easily say, hey, that guy's got a rifle. Be careful, you know. So here's my little test fire. I don't even know how many darts are in here, like five. So we'll see if it jams. Four. Wow, it actually didn't jam. Good job. So... S Jet Hawk is an honorable mention, but it's so garbagey that it cannot make the list. 
Oh, there was five in there. I just found a dart right where the shadow hawk was. Which means the drum spit out a dart and it never went in the blaster. Okay, that's all done. Now to the actual part that you came to see in the video. Number five. This is what I chose the number five. It's, I mean, whatever. It's. This one. The Raider CS35. Um, it's not bad, but it's not great either. Actually, it actually really isn't that bad, but let's take a look at it. I chose this because it takes mags. That's the first thing you want because there's all sorts of sizes of mags and you can carry them. So that just boosted everything. But let's see. Pump action. That's really annoying. Um, has slam fire, that's really handy. Two rails, that's not bad either. You don't really need two though. The stock. The stock is nice. I like the stock. It's really good. Doesn't like doesn't collapse or anything, you know. Works. So I put it on here because it's old and the performance is junky. But if it were brand new, I would probably say a little higher on the list. But we're talking about this blaster in particular, not the blaster as a whole. Like, all the writers, and, you know, what time, you know. Probably the loudest one I own. Only three. That's why. Because it's not really great, and I don't want to really ruin the blaster by shooting it a million times. And it doesn't even perform that great anyway. And it's loud. So. Alright. That's done. I don't have to talk about that anymore. Number four. So fancy. Um. The Nerf Mega Bulldog. So cool. Came out like two years ago. So cool. Anyway, this is the Nerf Mega Bulldog. Um, not really a rifle, is it? Um, I don't know. I needed something for the Mega Series. And this is all I got. Super small and compact. For the extra... Turning around and shooting. We see the Mega McFlounder show us that, so props to him. But it's so small and it looks weird. It doesn't take mags, so that's a downside. And it's just but it's also lightweight, so you can do random things like this. You don't need to do this, you probably will never need to do this, or yeah. But it's an option. You can do it. Comes with Accu Strike Darts. Um they don't, they're not really that accurate. They're, they all, they're all garbage. So. Comes with this shieldy thingy. I'm just totally protected. Like, if I put my face right here, it's totally gonna protect my face. Yeah. Like, nothing's gonna hit me right there. So that was so perfect of an attachment. So that way, you can't actually put anything on here. That's another downside. Give me the scope, Shadow Hawk. Let's say I'm going to go long range with this. I don't know why anyone would want to do that, but it's... Someone might have thought of that. Put your scope up here. Cool. Now you can't put your stupid shield up and you can't deploy the blaster. And it's going to be stuck in this little position because of that. Downside. R rest in peace, scope. But it looks super cool. <laughs> so, firing demo. Why did it spit out and leak down? Stop that. It's so like shaking the thing so much that they're like all falling out. And just to show you that it's compatible with normal Mega Darts, here's a shot with that. Oh god. Yeah, you can you can tell it works. It shoots pretty hard, so I can't really throw too much on it. Number three! This big Nerf Fortnite stupid thing that costs thirty dollars, and the box is way too big. Um, I put this on number three because, I mean, just look at it. <laughs> one rail, and it's slanted too. So you go to put that one scope on there that you could not put on your bulldogs. You're like, you know what? I'll throw it on this gun. Maybe I'll have a better option. <laughs> 
And now the scope is facing up and you can't see anything. That's, that's nice. So when you're looking through it, you can't see anything. You're looking like it just half the frame. You know, you can't see anything. So, whatever. But it looks cool. So, we have this thing up front. You'll never use this. This iron sight is most likely bigger than your own eye. So, you don't need this. Same with this one. I just leave this one up because it looks a little cooler. And it is a little more helpful. This barrel... I don't know what to say, but it's a barrel. Um, and no other attachments. Did I mention that? You could have put a rail right here, but you didn't. Uh, coming with a 10 round magazine. Wow! So cool. 10 rounds. I can easily just go to the like Target nearby and buy an 18 round. You can do better, Nerf. Um, it's not entirely bad, though. I bought it. Because, first of all, it's yellow. I like yellow. And the last that we've seen of yellow was that. And that's outdated. So it's nice to see the yellow come back for a change. Not only that, but it's a rifle. It holds really nicely and it looks pretty cool. So I can't really grape on it. But they could have done so much better. Like, huh. I don't know how much are in the mag, so. And the blaster sounds really cool. Trust me, sounds cool. Get flattering. Like a savage. How many shots were in there? I counted ten. Boom. Ten. That's that. Number two. I need to think of a better way to do that. The Nerf Strife. Normal Strife, no modifications. And it comes with this thing. Super cool. So, why did I choose a Strife that doesn't even look like a rifle? Technical difficulties. I need someone to do this for me. Why does this little pistol look like a rifle? Well, first of all, this comes with a stock. So that just added like six or seven launches on there. And it comes with a barrel. Hey, check that out. Now it's a rifle. So cool, right? Magic. It just happened. Yeah. So first of all, it's battle camo. That's awesome. We don't have many battle camo and they discontinued it already. This does not come with the blaster, but I, I chose it because it's white and the rest of it's mostly white. So, hey. Some automatic, you can put any other mag in there. That's another thing. It's mag compatible, so you can stick any other mag. It's got two reels, one down here, one for here. It does come with a grip, but I don't see the point in the grip, and I don't need it. So the grip, I just... Goodbye. And then this side, of we don't, you know. But here's the thing. There's no problem with the scope. When you use the scope, you can actually use it. You know what I mean? There's nothing blocking or no weird angles. The only downside is that it covers the jam door, but I haven't had any jams with this blaster yet. So, whatever. Slide it. Done. Boom. Catch. Number one! I need to seriously think of a way to do that. The Nerf Retaliator. Hold up, that does not look like a retaliator. I know, <laughs> I did that on purpose. And how did I just prime that, you may ask. Go watch the review so you can, I, so I can answer half those questions. I hated the original look. It looked like a stupid shotgun that didn't, that wasn't a shotgun, so it was stupid. I needed a scope for some way of seeing, so that was that. I needed a barrel, otherwise that looks really weird, so. It looks like I just went off and cut off the front of the gun and said, hey, I look cool. Um, I put a banana mag in here. That actually went with the strife. And I said, no way, Jose. And I put it on here. So that, that happened. That's how I prime it. I pull back on the scope. And then there's like a little ridge there. I just push that forward. And then the stock easily goes with it. These have orange and gray. And this blaster... Happens to have gray on it. So it all works together and it looks really nice. So let's fire it. And it shoots really hard at about 72 FPS on par. So 
So that's pretty cool. Excuse you. I wonder a lot. Perfect time for 360 no scope. I missed. I always miss, don't I? All right. Um. So that was that. That was my top five list plus my honorable mention that I wish I didn't even put on the list. And we'll see you guys in the next one. What a pain of a video to make.